Hello dear students, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will discuss about the real-time pricing uh, which is used in the smart grids. So let us start our discussion about the topic. This real-time pricing, it is an important application of a smart energy meters and this uh, real-time pricing is benefit, uh, it is having benefit for both, it means consumer as well as for the utilities and benefit of real-time pricing can be achieved only with the help of smart meters. If the smart grid is having uh, smart meters installed, then those smart meters will help in providing all necessary data which is required for the real-time pricing purpose. So with the help of those smart meters, the consumers can obtain a more organized data which is uh, they are utilizing day by day means they can record their data on hour to hour basis or a fixed interval which can be decided by the utility or in some cases by the consumers also. So the information which the consumer want that reaches up to that point or that reaches up to the consumer at regular intervals, these regular intervals are, are programmed and the data which is received at regular, regular intervals that is more accurate and error free as it was having uh, some errors in the manual meter readings. Utility con companies can also offer some con concession or they may add some penalty if the electricity uses uh, is high during the low load or in the peak load. The consumer can schedule uh, their operation of heavy loads as per the schedule shared by the company so they can plan their connection and disconnection of load accordingly and then uh, utility companies can follow a more systematic procedure in controlling the energy produced means they can utilize their resources or available resources in the best possible way the smart energy meters are generating a digital responses for the fluctuations which are occurring in the demand the dynamic pricing helps in improve effectiveness and reliability of the smart grid because if the consumers have, are having information in that particular duration the demand is high as compared to the generation then automatically they may disconnect as per their willingness or a company may impose higher charges in that higher demand duration then the consumer will be forced to disconnect their load so there will be a balance in generation and demand so this will increase the reliability of the complete system in traditional way or in traditional manual reading the data is generally or energy consumption data is generally recorded in a period of 30 days but with the help of these smart meters even a data for 15 minutes can also be recorded this can be programmed so this 15 minutes may be changed up to one hour or five minutes or 10 minutes or one minute as per the requirement so smart meters when uh, these smart meters can be programmed as per the choice of consumer or choice of the utility so these smart meters enables consumers to monitor their load pattern if they want to monitor their, their load pattern for a day or for a 24 hour then they can monitor for 24 hour or if they want to check their load pattern for 365 days or in a particular month then that, that data is available they can check their load pattern or then energy consumption pattern and as per the historical data which is available to consumer they can plan for the cost saving purpose and also it will reduce the total load on the grid although there are several ben benefits of real time pricing but still the consumers which are getting benefited with this are very less uh, around 5% consumers are having the advanced metering infrastructure but out of those 5% approximate one tenth are having or one tenth are able to get the benefit of this at the real time pricing because 
it is believed that this real time pricing it harms or uh, for low income consumers seniors or people with disabilities or people with young children and those and for those people who are having small businesses because for these consumers they are having a very little load means a person can save only if he or she is consuming excess amount of power so if they are having less load so they can't disconnect their load during peak load so they are forced to pay higher amount in that peak demand period or the in lower generation period so these consumer these consumers are unable to curtail peak load because their connected load is very less so there are several barriers in implementation of dynamic prices these barriers are legislative regu regulatory and these are deriving from state efforts to protect retail consumers so there are several challenges in the path of real time pricing in execution of real time pricing the price for entire day is decided and sent to the consumer one day before and as per uh, this price depends on the demand of that energy on that particular day first load is forecasted and load forecasted load and the available generation is the basic deciding factor for the price for the upcoming day so based on the electricity price decided by the utility com utility company consumers can connect or disconnect their load during peak or off peak hours so this connect uh, this encourages consumers to connect heavy loads during non peak hours then there are benefits for both means for the consumers as well as for the utilities because consumers has to pay less bill and the utility can use their resources in a best possible manner since uh, the utility need not to install new power plant for the supplying the demand during peak period because that peak load will be shifted into the low demand duration so it will reduce the co2 emissions also and this will also result in the less stress on the transformer now in order to utilize the complete benefit of real time pricing the main criteria which need to be considered the first is the duration duration for which the pricing of energy consumption vary means uh, the pricing is varying for 1 hour 2 hour or in a slot of 3 hours or 4 hours so the duration is uh, the prime point of concern second the ability to buy energy when prices are lower consider a case when uh, in the day time you are not in your residential complex you are in the office and at that time the energy is available at lower rates so this is not beneficial for you because you are not able to purchase electricity and that duration so utility company is selling electricity at the lower price but the consumer is able to buy that energy at that duration or not so second point is the ability to buy energy and then next point is ability to control the operation of appliances and the ability to determine the energy prices at a given given time means the energy prices are determined in a uh, in appropriate manner and whether those appliances can be controlled or not in that duration then the smart meter that measures the total uses and the time of uses of energy so as i have mentioned earlier that smart meter is mainly responsible for the uh, application or implementation of real time pricing without smart meters real time pricing is not possible now there are two types of pricing one is flat rate and other one is dynamic pricing in flat rate pricing this is the simple pricing mechanism and least risk is there but with the dynamic pricing the customer bills will be reduced the congestion network congestion will reduced and reduced wholesale market price and there are greater benefits from distribution uh, distributed energy resources and it is also having some environmental benefit now what are the different types of dynamic pricing one is the real time pricing in this the prices vary on an hourly basis means for 
every hour prices are changing so customer is charged at a different price for each interval now second is the time of use in this the complete duration is broken in the block of hours peak off and interim and the charge will be as per the blocks means for the peak load the charge will be different for off peak load the charge will be different and for medium load charge will be different then third one is the variable peak pricing it is a combination or it is a hybrid of time of use and real time pricing different in in this case different periods of pricing are defined in advance but price for peak load varies by utility and market condition and when the, for the remaining duration price will be flat then next uh, type is critical peak pricing uh, in this method or in this methodology the customers face a high price for peak time electricity use on certain days means in critical events suppose uh, in indian condition we can consider that uh, the consumer has to pay higher charges during the diwali period or in the new year period because those are the critical events in that duration the demand will be high now that critical peak rebate this is just opposite to the critical peak price in this case the utility will provide incentive to consumers if consumers will save electricity in the critical events so the utility pays consumer for each kilowatt hours of electricity reduced suppose they are having a consumption of 10 kilowatt hour and if they consume only 5 kilowatt hour so they, they are eligible to take incentive for reduced 5 kilowatt hours and this incentive will be provided by the utility companies then why real time pricing because it is the purest form of dynamic pricing uh, this is having highest financial reward then customers assume the risk of wholesale price volatility and are rewarded with less cost of service because they need to just change their energy consumption pattern then customers pay electricity prices that are linked to the wholesale cost of electricity on an hourly basis or sub hourly basis means they have to pay as per the available energy and the consumption so that's why this is the purest form of dynamic pricing and this is maximum time used but uh, this this type of pricing is having the maximum advantages but due to some barriers this is less used in the upcoming video we will discuss about the challenges of this uh, real time pricing so these are the differences which are utilized for the preparation of this video thanks for watching the video and for latest video stay connected with the channel by subscribing the channel and pressing the bell icon thanks for watching